Hello, this is part four of the video series called Why You Should Not Use LibGDX for 3D Games. And the episode is called Web Performance Disaster slash Dumpster Fire. Um, unfortunately, this uh, proof that I'm going to show you is not only uh, indicative of 3D games, but basically all games on the web. The GWT and TVM um, web backend are both slow and I'm going to prove it to you. Okay, so before we start, my name is Ants. I do game development as a hobby and I'm producing this series so that if uh, to help uh, people who are debating to use LibGDX for game development, especially for 3D, to make uh, good informed uh, decisions. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be proving this with actual um, examples, code examples, and basically performance on the web backends uh, for LibGDX are horrible. GWT is actually a dumpster fire and TVM is still not good as it should be. And I'm going to prove to you that GWT is 24 times slower and TVM is 9 to 10 times slower than native um, Java code, a compiled Java code. Um, so uh, I'm going to let Franziska Heckelman, um, uh, she has a PhD in mathematics and software engineer at uh, Google. This is 2019 at the uh, International JavaScript uh, Convention in Munich. And she is talking about how um, JavaScript performs uh, against C++. Okay, so uh, I need to go to 824. Ayla, is this what JavaScript is? Let's look at data. So I calculated prime numbers here, the first one million, I think, and I used the exact same algorithm in C++ and in JavaScript, so no difference here in the algorithm. Of course, there's lots you can do with a better or different algorithm, but it's exactly the same algorithm. So both these calculations do exactly the same work, just in C++ and JavaScript. Um, left to right, as, as the prime numbers get bigger, and then bottom to top, you see how many seconds it takes to calculate the larger prime numbers. And the red line is C++. So yes, you see C++ is faster than JavaScript, but this is a linear scale and JavaScript is maybe twice as slow as C++. So it's... it's. So just to re reiterate, this is Franziska Heckelman. Uh, she has a PhD in mathematics and she's a software engineer at Google. She's presented in 2019, so that's almost you know, five years ago. And she basically um, um, is doing Java tests and basically it's in the same sort of category. It should be around two times slower than native C++ code, right? But I'm gonna show you something else uh, at 2410. And by the way, I'll link this, this video because it actually goes into detail, technical detail. And 24, here we go to WebAssembly and then timed it and WebAssembly is between C++ and JavaScript performance. It's very close to native C++ performance. It's a tiny little bit slower just because there's a bit of overhead calling in and out of WebAssembly. Okay, so why am I showing you the WebAssembly? For two reasons. First reason is TVM, uh, GDX TVM and all TVM implementations, they actually use WebAssembly, right? Uh, XPE actually gets C++ library, he runs it through a tool and it generates a WebAssembly that actually runs very quickly, almost, almost at native C++ uh, speeds, but it's slightly slower. Second thing is um, Godot and Unity, when they compile a web project very quickly, uh, at least on Godot in a couple of seconds, is it actually generates WebAssembly code. And that's why in Godot, um, uh, web projects are super fast, right? So the reason why I showed you is you, you have to expect uh, your game framework and your game library to produce something two, maybe three, four, five times slower than your native desktop uh, compiled version. 
but libgdx actually doesn't do that. It actually is a dumpster fire. So let's uh, move on. Assembly. So I'm going to show you a real example with real code and a real project that I'm going to be linking in. It's, it's uh, on my uh, GitHub uh, repository and it's public and um, contributors have this. They know about this and you could do your own tests. They know and they've confirmed these exact numbers and it's on Discord. Just look at the 3D channel and get the, these numbers have already been published in the 3D channel, but nothing has been done about it. But anyways, uh, GWT, so Google Web uh, Toolkit, so that's the official uh, libgdx web backend is 24 times slower in this example I'm, I'm going to show you. And GDX TVM is 9 to 10 times slower compa compared to uh, native Java compiled code. All right, so you're going to say, yeah, really? I'm like, yep, I'm going to be showing you that right now. All right. So I'm going to show you the desktop. <coughs> Um, I have two monitors and it always goes to my primary. But anyways, here's model cache test. So what, what, what is this um, test doing? It's a very simple uh, program, but basically every two seconds, it uh, builds a model cache and it takes 100 copies of a mesh and, and it makes a model cache that basically it... Um, it puts all these meshes together to make one mesh so that it only needs one draw call to basically draw all 100 tiles, all 100 uh, models. And every two seconds, it randomizes uh, the locations of all these things, and then it puts it on a model cache, and it generates a model cache. And it's either 14 to 15 milliseconds. We'll take the higher number because I want the, I want, I'm actually going to be more conservative, so it's 15 milliseconds in uh, native Java desktop code to generate a, a model cache that has 100 basically copies of a mesh to combine them all into one mesh, and that's what a model cache is. So remember 15 milliseconds, okay? All right. So I'm gonna run um, uh, the GWT version in a browser. Okay, as you can see, it's running the HTML version. Okay, go to the console. Three seventy nine, three seventy nine. Let's use three seventy nine, three eighty. So three seventy nine sounds like uh, a good number. Three seventy nine divided by fifteen. 25.2 so again it, it, the desktop number really affects this if it's if it was a 16 milliseconds then it would be a smaller number but 15 to 6 but it's 24 25 it's still extremely bad it's it's so bad the javascript that actually is generated by gwt is so goddamn bad it's it's absolutely crazy um so let's see tvm because TVM is using WebAssembly, it should have better results and closer to C++ or compiled level code. So let's go to TVM and let's run this in a browser. And we could confirm it's TVM, it shows it over here. Let's go to console. All right, 152, 155, let's just use 152. Let's use the, the fastest one, 152 again. So let's use 152. 152 divided by, it's 10 times slower. And again, when I use nine times slower and 24, I was trying to be nice. I'm trying to be positive and nice. It's actually worse. It's actually really terrible. Anyways, um, as you can see, uh, don't take my for it. Just go to my um, my repo that I will link in the in the description, and you can run these tests yourself. Okay, uh, so let's close that, and let's go back to the slideshow here. So I, I basically showed I proved this to you. I proved this to you. So real world example. And by the way, GL profiler. 
So GL profile is a class that allows you to profile and find out how many draw calls, how many texture binds, how many shader switches, how many vertices in the thing. And this, it's also, um, um, uh, um, arithmetic intensive and it slows down like a 600 to 400 fps desktop games to down to 12 to 7 fps it destroys it and it's 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 unbelievable that uh a profiler would kill um and it both on tvm and gwp I'm, and again i want to make videos shorter because i'm just noticing people just don't watch the whole thing and this is the reason why i only have one example i have i, have, I could have more examples right so um the other thing, and this is the main message, and the reason why I did the jigsaw puzzle in the previous video, if you haven't seen it, all the different jig, uh, pieces that you need for a good 3D game or any uh, a 3D, a dynamic 3D game, is you need 3D physics and 3D navigation, and you need a bunch of 3D models and enemies and all that. I created a game jam where there are um, uh, enemy T-Rexes, and you have a tank, right? And it uses physics and 3D navigation. I actually showed a video in the previous video of uh, the 3D navigation uh, being tested and working and all that kind of stuff. If I were to add one more T-Rex, the computational complexity due to the physics and the navigation, and navigation is computation, computational um, complex, right? It has to find the shortest path. Um, it would actually reduce the FPS uh, below the monitor's frame rate, and my monitor, I have two monitors, this is 75. Uh, below 60 and that's the threshold I have where if it goes below 60 on my uh, 3050 and my Ryzen 5 then that's a problem but what I'm trying to get at is you can't build a complex game with a lot of models using physics and navigation and this is the reason why my Raid on Bungly Bay is so simple the libgx version where I'm using decals for other objects and not using 3d models because you add 3d models things slow down on the web builds it doesn't matter if you're using gwt gwt is a dumpster fight it's actually really bad uh and also on a tvm so that's a big problem and this is the reason this is this is like i don't know how much more proof you need from this and you could do your own test on this um this is a reason why uh, if you're going to do 3D games and publish them um, to Itch or on Game Jolt as web um, builds, regardless if you're using GWT or TVM, you're gonna, it's, it, it's super slow compared to other alternatives. And I hope, I hope you take this advice uh, to heart and uh, I'm trying my best to warn people as much as possible. Anyhow, I hope you appreciate the video. Take care. Until next time. Bye.